So we've got uh, these three body diagram problems in. All right, and these are due Wednesday. Now, they're right in the book, okay? So um, just to reiterate what I was saying on Friday, all you need to do is turn the sketches in the book to into free body diagrams. And the sketches are on pages 12A and 12B. So you don't need to write anything up other than uh, doing the, the free body diagrams, okay? So you have some... Uh, Sketches there that, of course, are done in AutoCAD. I've got a little bit hand-drawn ones, but you can just use those AutoCAD sketches and turn them into free body diagrams. All right, um, so the, the thing on this, on free body diagrams, um, I think, is don't overthink it, all right? That, that's the main uh, thing I can think about on these. There's certain types of connections that restrain certain types of motion. And if a connection restrains or does not allow a certain type of motion, it has to do that by exerting a force or a couple to make, to make that happen. So whenever you see those types of uh, constraints or types of uh, uh, supports for the object, you just replace the support with a type of moat with a force that would prevent the motion that the support prevents. All right, so that's basically how that goes. So let's have a look at, uh, at some of these, you know, get you a little bit of introduction on some of these and of course you'll be doing the others. So on 251, do we got any questions on that one to start? Yes. So, for the weight, uh -huh. does it have to be, is, is, it, is the weight of the force just at the center of gravity? Right, it, yeah. So there's no other weight. Correct. It's just 600 newtons going down, no other. Yeah. Down. So what you do, it's like that's a distributed load, and I've already done all the calculations for you, essentially. Okay. So if I know that that porch weighs 600 newtons right so there. That's all you got to do. Yeah. It's like someone else has done all this stuff for you. Uh, um, okay, now this is, might be a, a reasonable example. Um, what, what do we got at A? What type of support is that? Different words for it. It's fixed, yeah. Fixed support, cantilever support is another word for that. See, that will not allow anything to happen. That's like you've taken that beam and embedded it in the wall, if it was a concrete wall. So if at A, the beam cannot move up or down, there has to be a force that, that makes that happen. So there's, there is, R-A-Y. Nor can that beam move left or right. So there is a force that makes that happen, R-A-X nor can the beam twist, okay? That's the symbol for a cantilever beam. Now, if you need to, you know, check in on that page, I kind of had a, we went through the different types of connections, and I had a page that outlined those and showed how those things create reaction. So, you know, if you have any doubts about these, they're what you call schematic symbols, you might say. Uh, which are just symbols that mean certain things that may not necessarily look exactly like the connection, but they, they have a meaning. So they're on page 360. So if on the bottom of 360, lower right-hand corner, you'll see something that's very similar to what I've sketched here. That's a fixed support. The other thing that won't happen here is that that beam cannot twist. All right? It cannot twist because of the connection that A will not allow it to. So if the connection prevents the beam from twisting, it has to exert some sort of couple to prevent that. Okay. So what I do, I just look at each connection and put forces on it that correspond to the motions that it would prevent. That is a smooth surface, so it only exerts a force normal to the flat surface. That would be like that, so I call that RB. I've got a cable going that way, 
Now, I want to know what that way is, okay, because the angles here are important that you include them because um, that's the solutions that you, that, you know, that you figure out depend on the angles. So I do want the angles on there, and normally we find angles by doing inverse tangents, y over x, so that'd be 1 over 3, I think, and that would get me the angle there. So I do want you to label all the appropriate angles on, the, on what you're turning in. Because, and the reason is, is that they're an important part of solving the problem. All right. So, and that's 18.4 degrees. So there you go. There's a free body diagram of the porch, which would be like that. So the word free body means you've kind of cut the porch free from all the attachments, and then you're replacing the attachments with forces. That's where that term comes from. Yes, question? Um, for tension in the cable, uh -huh. how would you label it? Oh, like you could, just the tension cord. Yeah, I guess that really doesn't act at a point. There aren't any real letters on that one, are there? So you can just call it T sometimes. Um, I'm not particular on what you call them, though. You could call it R, you know, you could really call it about anything, really. Yeah, but T is commonly used for tension. Yeah, question? Um, I actually have a question for later one about the support bracket for some fifty-two. Uh huh. Um, on B, is there going to be a Z, X, and Y? No, we we're just doing two-dimensional problem. Okay. On, on at least for two fifty-two. Yeah, that's a two-dimensional problem. These are all two D. So we don't need to worry about z-forces. Why don't we get through this one first? We can just kind of walk through them one at a time. So other questions on this one? We doing all right? All right. So on that one, no, no z-reaction on that one. Okay. Um, now, again, just look at the, at the supports, each one individually. And I've had this come up, so I'll mention it. Some people will say, well, I'm looking at that bracket, and it can't rotate. And so what they what someone did once, and more than one person did this, they put a reactive couple at A because the bracket couldn't rotate. Is that correct to do that? It looks like it rotates. Yeah, it, that is not correct to put a reactive moment at that, okay? So that was an error that they did. Now, the reason they did it was because they said that bracket can't rotate. Oh, okay. But it's, the fact it can't rotate is not caused by the pin joint. The pin joint just has two force reactions. The pin joint would allow it to rotate. The reason it can't rotate is there's a force here, okay? So that was an error. I just want to call that out because I've seen that a few times, okay? There's no moment reaction at A because it's a pin joint, and pin joints don't prevent rotation by themselves. Yeah, right. That, it's the force at B that's preventing the rotation, okay? So don't think too much about these. Just look at a support and replace it with the forces and, and couples that it would create to prevent motion, just the support. So a pin joint has two force reactions, right? Uh, a roller has one force reaction. Now, I do want an angle on that, okay? Because that's important to solve it, get the proper angle. And I didn't draw that bottom line in there too well, but let me try again. There, that's a horizontal line. You want to figure out what that angle is and get that in there, okay? You've got a weight acting right there. You're told there's a weight. You also want to do some stuff over there at A. Okay. When I'm drawing these free body diagrams, I just kind of look at the supports, replace them with forces. I don't think too much. I do my thinking later. Okay. I just want to get a sketch going with angled forces and, and the reactive forces and, and moments if that's appropriate. That's all I want to do. I'll think about it later. Okay. All right. 253, we got, or do we got any other questions on 252? Any questions on that? Two fifty three, do we got questions on that? What's that now? I didn't I'm pushing against A and B and then is there like a yeah, there's four forces on that thing. Each letter has its own force. Yeah. It's smooth, okay? Um, you know, just kind of remember those kind of key words, so to speak, you know? Smooth means no friction. 
Right, there's four normal forces. The important thing on that is they're normal to the flat surface. And the definition of the flat surface changes on that. Actually, there's a fifth force, there's a weight at, at G, which is going to try to. Yeah. Okay, and so just pay attention to what the flat surface is because the definition of the flat surface depend, changes depending on what point you're at. Yeah, of course. So from point C and D, would you make that a triangle and then make the other side a rectangle? Um, I'm quite follow. I mean, I'm just looking at points, really. I don't know as I'm... Okay. Okay. I mean, like I'm seeing a flat surface right there, so I'm going to have a force normal to it. I'm also seeing a flat surface there, so I'm going to go normal. Is that good? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There's one at A and another one at B. I would consider that to be two points with two different surfaces, too. Yeah. Yes. It would be at a ninety to the to the flat surface. The flat yeah. surface. Okay. Right. Pointing at the at the at the round thing, right? At C? Yeah, right. The round thing, you know, the fact it's round means you can have it's any sort of point of contact because yeah. it's round. You know, however you oh, lean it will get pointing yeah. towards C. Like the one that we did above it, you notice how we pointed through the object at the wheel? Or would C be Okay, the the round thing is is pushing at point C, and I'm not sure, you know, with the different sketches I've got here, which side I put C on. But the, you're showing the force on the glass plate, so the force will be pushing to the left, I would assume, because the glass plate is leaning against the wall. So it, and it won't be completely to the left; it'll be at a bit of an angle, and I want you to show that angle there. Okay, good with that. Uh, interesting one here. What's up with that? I think you got a little different sketch. You got more pipes, I think, but but it's the same idea. Okay. You got two walls, right? With pipes. Yeah. Okay. But it's the pipe in the middle, so really, it make too much difference. All right. Now the deal with this one is. There's two types of forces. The fancy words for them are called body forces, which are caused by force fields, which is, we, we use gravity, you know, if you get into physics, you probably get into some other force fields, we don't, here it's just gravity, okay? So what's the, the, the gravitational force on that thing? Okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> otherwise known as weight, yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> I can tell somebody's been in physics, that's for sure. <laughs> I think it's the weight, okay, <laughs> okay. Now, everything, everything else is caused by contact. So you got to figure out where, where is the contact on this thing? How many points of contact? Yeah, there's six of them, right? But I want angles on those things, okay? You're going to have six points of contact. Each point of contact has the potential for a force. And I don't think I'm putting those in right. That one I didn't put in right. So there they are. I'm just looking at that pipe, and that's where it's being touched. And every place where it's being touched, there can be a force. Now, the force is normal to the flat surface, but unfortunately, we don't have any flat surfaces. So if we don't have a flat surface, which, which way would, like for instance, this force here, which way would it point over on the right at 3 o'clock? Um, it's going to, what is it? It's going to be horizontal, okay? Yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't quite know the word. It's it's perpendicular to the tangent is what it's perpendicular to. Yeah, no. it's radial. Maybe another word for it. Perpendicular to tangent. I like yeah. that. Okay. Sense. All right. So that's good. Another word would be radial because it's in towards the center, but that'll be a horizontal force. Okay. And I want you to show the all of these forces point into the center because there's a geometry rule there that if you're perpendicular to a tangent at the point of contact, you're pointing into the center of the circle. So I would call these radial forces. So I do want you to angle that. Tell me what angle that is, okay? Yeah, do, do a little geometry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to just answer it because, you know. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and I just want you to think it through, okay? So figure out those angles because that's important to know the angles. Okay? 
And yeah, it's not, the calculation is very straightforward. There's nothing too fancy about the calculation. It's just the idea though, okay? All right. All right, now what do we got going on here on this? So we get on that one, we got any other questions on that one? Just tell me what whatever you're doing. Just uh, communicate it in a clear way. And you know, there's there might be many many ways to do that. But yes, you know, it's a good question. But you know, what I'm saying you could say every every angle. You know, whatever. Just just make it clear to me that you know what's going on. Okay. Okay. We're good. Okay. This one. What do we got? We've got a motor exerting a couple. So, what what's that attached at A? What is that symbol? That's a pin joint, right? And that's, see, that's as deep as I think about it. I go, oh, yeah, that looks like on page, whatever the heck I was just talking about there. Um, 360. What, what? 360. 360, okay. On 360, that's a pin joint, okay? If that's a pin joint, I'm going to do that. I'm done with pin joints, okay? That, that's, just, that, that's all the thinking I do about it, okay? And then, but also that motor exerts a couple. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to do it like that because that's what that motor's doing, right? It's turning it. You good? Okay. Yeah, there's a couple other things going on with that. You got the roller on the flat surface. You got the weight. I mean, that's pretty much it. There's not much to that one. Now, the other thing I mentioned on this is if I drew the force that I just drew there in purple, the horizontal force, this one, if you draw the force that way, will I mark that wrong? Will you? Yeah, I guess it's a good question. <laughs> Depends on the side of that. Okay. I won't mark it wrong on a free body diagram. Because if I get a positive answer with my purple arrow, you'll get a negative answer with your green arrow, and it doesn't make any difference because they're both the same answer. Okay? Now, but if you do that, yeah, that'll be wrong, okay? Because it's not at an angle, at least if your other force is like that. It, they're, they're perpendicular, they're orthogonal to each other, okay? So you can change the sign on your arrow. You can't change the direction of it, but you can change the sign of it. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter because when you run the numbers, you'll just get the opposite sign that I would have, that's all. And that's not a big deal, okay? So the sign on these arrows is a guess. It might be a very good guess, like, but all the same, it's just a guess, okay? Yes. Yeah, there's a force. And again, nothing, it's not rocket science. It's a pretty simple one, just a roller on a flat surface, right? So, yeah, and there's also a weight. So there's, there's two other forces there that I'm certain. Okay? We're doing all right with that? Okay. Do we care about the force that the motor applies? Rotationally against the thing. I would call that a couple. I mean, the right. force that it rotates. Yeah, I mean, as I understand your question, I mean so that might affect the list of the downward force. Oh. That v makes against the normal force because of the rotation. That's just the circle of reference that. Yeah, that's the, the torque from the motor, right. and that might affect the pin joint forces too. We have to analyze it and see. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? That's it. All right. Other questions? We doing all right? Okay. All right. So that's just a little bit on that stuff that's due Wednesday. And as I say, just pull those two pages out of the book and, and turn the sketches into free body diagrams.